Salutation fellow YouTubers. Um, as you can see, this is a video function I'm now using, and yeah, I just got a phone, and it has a video camera, as you are witnessing right now, and I decided to test it out by making this vocal tutorial. And if you're watching this video, you probably see my last video, my death metal vocal tutorial, how to pig squeal and guttural growl. Now in that video, I was talking about the pig squeal, guttural, using the false chord method. And when I was talking that video, I said a couple things with the gutturals that were wrong. So this video is also a correction video of that last video where I said that the only way to do gutturals is to do false chord. I didn't actually say it like that, but I made it seem like doing false chord is the only way in achieving gutturals, which also, of course, isn't true. Now, that video actually was very helpful to most viewers. That video has one thumbs down and like 70 thumbs ups, and it's got like 15,000 views, and everything I'm saying about this video, that video is as of right now. I think it has like 70 views, it's actually been like a while since I looked at it, but last time I looked it had a, a over 60 and it had only one thumbs down. And I actually know who that one person did the thumbs down on it. Uh, he was arguing with me, saying I'm stupid and saying I'm a clown, <laughs> so, and he's saying I'm stupid because uh, death, I like death metal and yeah he's obviously not a fan of death metal and he was just talking shit to some kid pretty sure and I'm pretty sure that's the person that thumbs down the video. But yeah, the video was really helpful to most people. I'm gonna stop talking about this video in a second by the way, but that video was helpful to most people and it's got a lot of good responses and everything. It helped a lot of people out. I am I'm pretty sure some really good death metal vocalists out there who actually did see that video or you know if they even did because you know why would they be watching a tutorial video if they already know how to do gutturals. But if they did, they're probably looking at the video and they, when they saw that, like, hey, he's making it seem like false chords only with a guttural. But there's the grunting technique in the guttural, and I'll be talking about how to do the grunting technique to be able to get to the guttural. But anyway, the false chord gutturals sound something like this. <laughs> Something like that. And the grunting gutturals sound something like this. Yeah, see, you can hear the difference for sure. Sorry about the quality of this video, but yeah, it's just a phone camera right now. I can't expect too much. But I'm pretty sure even though it's through a phone, you can hear the difference. The false chord one's a lot louder, the grunting one's a lot quieter. Well, not as loud. Anyway, to do uh, the grunt is actually the same, thinking of it is the same as false chord. It feels a hell of a lot different because it is different. It's a different technique, but thinking of uh, the way to the thinking process goes is actually the same as false chord. And that's, it makes it a lot easier to learn actually. Because false chord, what you do for that, you make a pitch and just kind of add the distortion to it. Like, I don't know how to explain what goes on down there, but you start to get the uh, and from the uh, you just add the power to it, make it louder, and it becomes a death metal growl. And there you go, there you have it. That's a false chord growl. Right off the bat. And now to do the grunt is actually the same thing. But what you do, you kind of open the back of your throat in a sort of nasal area. Like if you take your tongue and you feel the really hard part of the roof of your mouth, you know, it's like all hard. But if you take your tongue back, it gets that little fleshy soft part. Now that part you want to open up like a lot and it's going to create the Pee Wee Herman sound or Kermit the Frog, like Rrr! So an easy way to explain it, just do the Pee Wee Herman voice and you're going to be doing everything I was talking about with the opening up the back of your throat like a lot. Like, yeah, just do this voice. It sounds really, really retarded, but it works. But, to do the grunt thing, like I said, is the same thing, thinking-wise, as false chord. But you just do this voice, and so I just do, ah, so to get that in the, ah, it sounds retarded, I know it does, but once you have the right amount of power, once you have the right amount of power, you'll get there. Sorry, 
said that wrong, tongue twisted. So what it sounded like is hey! The second step would be hey! And you can kind of hear it there, but it still sounds a little weak. All right, so let's put more power. And from there, it's gonna take a little practice. Now, you're not gonna be able to do this just right after seeing this video. It takes a lot of practice. And it's gonna tickle a lot and it's gonna hurt a lot. But if it does, it's actually a good sign because it shows that you are indeed doing it right. Now, a lot of people say if it hurts, you're doing it wrong. Now, now that would confuse me because like when I was very first doing just death metal vocals at all, it hurt and I was thinking I was doing it wrong. So that really slowed down my process in learning. But what it is, if, if you're doing it right off the bat, like, and it doesn't hurt, that means you are doing it right, but if that's hurting after, that means your voice is just getting used to it, you know, and, and still not used to it yet, and your voice is holding these new positions that it's not, you know, that's new to it. So, that's why it hurts, and once it starts hurting, do yourself a huge favor and stop. Give it a break until it stops hurting, like wait till the end of the day, or the next day, or after you take a nap. And always make sure to drink a lot of water, like I'm pretty sure you've heard that a lot before and it's true, it really does help us drink a bunch of water. So, like I said, just after seeing this video, don't expect yourself to be able to do it right off the bat. Because I wasn't able to do it. And uh, every other death metal vocalist actually, you know, I'm not saying just me, because it's true. But uh, when I was first doing it, it kind of sounded like, <laughs> just sound like a, an oinking pig. And not pig squeals, an oinking pig. Yeah. But with enough practice and after my voice got used to the new position and everything and stopped hurting, I was able to get a decent, decent, tongue twister again, a decent sound out of it. So, and what I'm up to right now is. <laughs> I've only been practicing this for like five months ish. But I've been doing death metal vocals for over a year, so I'm somewhat experienced. But yeah, that's pretty much the way I'm doing it. Just think of her then adding a little more power to it, Hurr! then putting even more power to it, Hurr! and there you go. That's pretty much how to do it. <coughs> Choking on my own spit, by the way. But yeah. Just give it a lot of practice. Always make sure to drink a good amount of water. Uh, when it starts hurting, give it a break because if you if you ignore the pain, you're going to need surgery. If you need surgery, you're probably not going to be able to do death metal vocals anymore. A good chance you're probably not even going to speak anymore, or your voice might sound like. Ugh. So it's just not a good idea. Trust me. Just give it a break and let that pain go completely away before you even try doing anything singing wise and you can still talk and everything but still even talking I try to give that like try to talk as minimal as possible but just keep practicing whenever you can because I know people out there have jobs, have ho other hobbies friends whatever you know you don't always have the time for everything school you know, but whenever you have the time, you know, all you really need is at least 15 minutes or 10 minutes, and that really does help. And it's good to have a good place to practice in where you're not being too disruptive. Because I, whenever I practice, I'm in my garage. I'm in my garage right now, by the way, making this video, so I'm not being too disruptive. Or practice when nobody's home, everybody's at work, or you're in a big field and no one's there, or whatever, you know, wherever it's not too disruptive. Or if you're with your friends and they don't mind you being disruptive. I don't know if that came out wrong, but if they don't mind you being loud and stuff like my friends are, then you're good. I practice and I mess around with it and sing along every day with uh, my uh, music, and that's pretty much how I got the hang of it. I had a... Anyway, everything I'm pretty much saying in this video, not everything, but a lot of the things I'm saying, I give all the credit to another YouTube user who's a great death metal vocalist and he's just a great musician overall. His username is Blixish. I'll have the link to his channel right there. And if you haven't seen my first video, I'll put a link to it right here. Now I already have a link to that at the beginning of this video, just in case if you've seen this video and haven't seen my previous one. So yeah, you're good. 
just watch that video, listen to that. You might actually learn something from that one. Other people will have. I don't know, but this one probably is a little more detailed about this type of stuff. But just keep practicing. Don't give up. Mr. Ripper.